I'm Len Ramirez in Mountain View, just one of the places where food trucks are making a strong comeback, and one way they're doing that is by making house calls. Instead of waiting for people to come to the food trucks, the food trucks are coming to the people. Yeah, we're definitely rebounding. Chris Sabala says the existing food truck business model blew up when the pandemic hit. Corporations closed and big gatherings were canceled. Our business was primarily a corporate business, and we would go to the tech companies around the Bay Area. But now we had to pivot. We go to apartment complexes and food pickups. Today, they rolled into the Americana in Mountain View, a large apartment complex off the El Camino. A hungry crowd lined up minutes later. It's an unusual location, but uh, I live like one minute walk away from here, so it's really convenient. Besides apartments, groups of food trucks are setting up in neighborhood shopping center parking lots. This meetup at the Cambrian Park Plaza in San Jose is part of a group called Tasty Mob, which sets up there every Thursday and Saturday. There's some people that dine in, they bring in their, their cars, they bring, take their food to their car, and they dine in their car. RJ Castro has spent a career working in all phases of restaurants and says the food truck model might be something brick and mortars can incorporate or switch to as a way to survive the pandemic. We're kind of in the forefront front right now because uh, we are mobile and we don't have to have those restrictions that indoor dining has on them. It produces a lot more variety. You know, it's like sometimes it's a little tiring just cooking at home all the time. In Mountain View, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.